Hello everyone. We are going to talk about our paper, Multimodal Neural Radiance Field for Monocular Dense SLAM with a Lightweight TOF Sensor. Dense SLAM aims to recover camera pose and scene geometry simultaneously, which usually relies on high precision and high resolution depth sensors. Due to the unaffordable size, weight, and price issues, these depth sensors are not commonly used for mobile devices. On the contrary, Lightweight TOF sensors are designed to be low-cost and compact, and have been massively deployed on mobile devices. However, limited by the lightweight electronic design, the lightweight TOF sensors only output low-resolution signals in the way of depth distribution. A lightweight TOF measures distance by emitting photons and calculating the time it takes for the photons to bounce off the target and return. For example, L5 is a typical multi-zone distance ranging TOF sensor. It can provide measurements with resolution of 64 zones, covering 63-degree diagonal FOV in total. As a result, each zone corresponds to a not-so-small region. L5 measures depth distribution of these zones instead of a single depth value. Since the depth distribution contains rich information, a natural question to ask is, can we build a dense SLAM system with lightweight TOF sensors? To this end, we propose a novel dense SLAM system that work with a lightweight TOF sensor and a monocular camera. Existing RGBD SLAM systems are designed for pixel-wise depth inputs, thus simply consider the lightweight TOF signals as a low-resolution depth leads to failure. A recent work, Deltar, can output a high-resolution depth estimation given an RGB image and corresponding lightweight TOF signals. However, the estimated depth is not as accurate as the L5 signal and contains artifacts. In addition, it lacks temporal consistency, thus directly use it in an RGBD SLAM leads to poor results. To address these problems, we design a new framework and propose multimodal scene representation and temporal filtering technique for depth prediction, thus can fully leverage the raw signals of lightweight TOF and exploit temporal information to deal with the noisy signals. Our multimodal implicit scene representation encodes the scene geometry and appearance separately. RGB images and depth images are rendered at pixel level using corresponding features and decoders. To render zone-level TOF signals, a rendering mask is used to mask out features extracted from overly high spatial frequency grids. By minimizing the difference between the rendered signals and input ones, we can simultaneously optimize the camera pose and scene structure. To guarantee successful tracking and mapping, we exploit a depth prediction model to predict intermediate per pixel depth maps as additional supervision. Furthermore, we design a temporal filtering module to improve the depth prediction result. With the past observations stored implicitly in our scene representation, we can predict the per zone TOF measurement with an initialized pose. Then we use it to refine the current TOF measurement and further use the refined TOF signals with RGB images to do depth prediction for better results. We now show the running process of our SLAM system. Our method takes color images and depth distribution signals from a lightweight TOF sensor as input and recovers accurate camera pose and dense geometry. Although the raw signal from lightweight TOF sensor have extremely low resolution and high depth uncertainty, we can produce accurate dense geometry and camera tracking. We also show comparison with other methods on the dense reconstruction. Since no existing approaches can succeed with the low-resolution lightweight TOF signals, we feed them with high-resolution depths predicted from the SOTA model, Deltar. As shown in the video, our method is able to produce high-quality reconstructions with smooth surfaces and high accuracy. Since Elastic Fusion and Nice Slam rely on high-quality depth input, their performances are poor given the noisy and unreliable depth input. In a more challenging case, Nice Slam and IMAP even failed to reconstruct the complete scene due to inaccurate camera tracking. On the contrary, our method successfully recovers the full scene geometry. Thank you for your listening. You can scan the QR code to visit our project page.